time. How you mentioned about what you, what you see with volume. The the price point for the the buying uh, device. I think right now the okay. I cannot really say when I about fifty. I think uh, okay when next year or the should be up uh, below fifty. Yeah, and you know, and I think that I mean the important thing here is these these are these are products that we're able to sell without any subsidy. It's what it's what has allowed us to do um, a, a model without contracts. Can you right. tell us what you just said? Fifty what? Sure. Uh, yeah. No. I'll, 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 I'll get to the, I'll get to the, the, so the, the prices on, on Wimax already are, are significantly lower than 3G devices. I would say the products are ranging say anywhere from forty to a hundred dollars on on uh, dongles and air cards and. And uh, modems, and this is it, it, to remember. This is we've just launched, so what we expect to happen is those prices will continue to come down as we um, see increases in volume around. With WiMAX being deployed globally. Besides the modem, I guess the Baltimore market is that fifty-nine dollars, or what's the price of the Baltimore? Yeah, I believe it's fifty-nine dollars for the modem. Are those prices market-driven, in order to penetrate market, or? Is there an underlying change in that technology that's doing it, or both? Well, I think there, there, there's, there's a, so the question was, are those prices market driven, or is it uh, underlying change in the technology? I think it's both, right? So, so what we what we try to do with WiMAX, and we're seeing success from that already, is that it's, it's an open standard, and we are offering an open network. So there's a tremendous amount of competition. And as you can see from the diversity of the suppliers that we have, we've uh, we've really been able to attract a lot of attention on this, and that's driven the cost down already. Yes, uh, today actually from day one we can see the exciting to see uh, at the price everything's under uh, at hundred dollars, which is a tremendous milestone I think we reach. And uh, part of it to answer your question, yes, uh, the standard if you look at Wimes form, that kind of opened up all the interface. We meant all the interface uh, from the network side uh, to to the uh, uh, to the terminal, and also inside terminal springs and other the wireless uh, leaders also tend to open up the uh, even in the future API interface, so that even in the chip in the future, all so the chips and doesn't matter from which vendor, you are going to have the same look and feel for the devices that are going to drive the cost further down. I mean, in the future. So even today, uh, day one's already have multiple chipset that's really interoperable, so that make the pricing very competitive. And also the, the volume, uh, we can see it's economy scale, and then if we, the device make for sprints, it's gonna be also work for the uh, rest of the world as well. So that's uh, actually, uh, is very important as well. I mean, in, unlike uh, some of the other technology today, it's just only handfuls of uh, Manufacturers uh, or big vendors and now actually we see uh, smaller vendors as well, and the big and smaller vendors all working into the system. So I think that's uh, one of the factors why we can offer, uh, I think, the uh, competitive, uh, competitive pricing. I think. So.